show starts right now with a breaking news alert. And that news alert is on the west side where we're hearing one person has died in an apartment fire. We are expecting to learn exactly what happened when the sergeant with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office gives us an update in just a few minutes. We've been following this fire for you early this morning. Fire crews still on the scene there at the preserve at Cedar River Apartments. That is on Confederate Point Road near Blanding Boulevard. Bakari's live close to the apartments where he is waiting to hear that update from police. Bakari. Yeah, Ashley, you know, the horrible news about this is that one life was taken in this fire. Um, on the flip side, you have a lot of survivors left, people who need a lot of help, and that is where Eric Germanson with the Northeast Florida Red Cross comes in. Eric, um, you know, a lot of people that you're talking to, can you talk to us about the emotional state um, of the people and what all you guys do to help put them at ease? Yes, well, it's it's a very extreme situation. They've lost their homes, their belongings in a, in a time of season where they should be celebrating themselves and enjoying their home. Uh, the Red Cross responds and we're trained in psychological first aid and we provide our basic immediate assistance, but as well as we're just a voice and a helping hand and a hug to be able to kind of walk them through the process, give them that comfort that there's going to be a name and a face with them the whole time to ensure that they have their opinions heard and that they're able to be walked through with as much comfort as possible. And Eric, this happened very early this morning. We got the uh, first notification of this just after six o'clock. And as you mentioned, some people were still in their pajamas because most people are still in bed then. Let's talk about the immediate needs because they can't get back into their apartments right now. And Correct. like you said, they're wearing their pajamas. So how soon um, does your help kick in for them and what does that look like? Well, the fantastic thing about the American Red Cross and the assistance that we provide for free from donors and from the public is that it is available immediately. Mm -hmm. So our immediate assistance is we come out and we issue them the assistance that they need to go out and immediately purchase and get what they need. Okay, and in addition to that, you know, just like we said, um, a lot of the apartments, the electricity has been turned off, you Correct. know, for uh, for safety precautions. Uh, it's not clear when they will be able to return back to their homes. How does uh, lodging work? Well, that's correct with the electricity being cut. They don't want anybody back in there as a precaution right now. So what the Red Cross provides is it gives them the ability to go to a hotel and to do whatever as needed so they can get out of here. It's very cold right now. They need somewhere safe to be and they have it available to them. Okay, Eric, thank you very much. And thank you for the work that you all do um, for these families. Again, this is something that we will continue to follow because there's a lot more details um, to confirm here. And we're going to bring that to you, of course, on air and online at news4jacks.com reporting live on the west side. I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, the local station.